Hello everyone, this is Learn Space Architecture. In this video, we are going to learn how to make a stylized section drawing. You must have seen the sections like this, but don't you think this is a little bit boring? Today, I'm going to show you how to make it more fun. So, let's get started. This is one of my first year student work. At that time, I really like to use realistic trees and the skies and the concrete textures. It's not bad but it's a little bit boring to begin with i will delete all of those trees and i'm going to use my watercolor trees to replace them in this package i have 25 stylized watercolor trees and six watercolor textures and i'll show you how to get them for free at the end of the video here i just randomly select some of the trees and drag them into the drawing I click Ctrl G to group them, and then I click Ctrl T to resize them. And then I spread them out one by one. Since I want to give the overall drawing a watercolor feeling, so I will give all of the trees a about 70% transparency. I'll go back to the folder to find out some bigger canopy trees, like this one. One of trick to draw section is that do not keep all the trees same size. Trying to keep them into at least three levels, like canopy trees are bigger and uh, ornamental trees are smallest, like just twice of the human size. You can also change the color or saturation of the trees by click Ctrl U or Ctrl V. Another trick to make section drawing is that you can make some of the trees has lower transparency to give the overall drawing a little bit of depth. I also want to bring in this dry tree on the left side of the drawing to make this overall drawing a little bit balanced. Then I'm going to delete the realistic sky and the concrete texture. You can also find six watercolor textures in this package. You can use them as skies, grasses, and section gradients. I use the W2 to select the sky area and delete this area, and click Ctrl U to change the color from green to brown. Then we are going to finish the below section. Let's go to the above section. This section is the blow up area of the Ram Plaza. I hold out and drag the tree to make the copy of them. I make the bigger trees like these dry trees and the, the ornamental trees with higher opacity because they are more closer to our eyes and I make the smaller trees like rounded small trees with lower opacity because they are behind the ramp far away from our eyes. I like to use trees with different color tones from yellow green to blue green. Go back to the package to find a blue watercolor texture. I like to use this one and drag it to the appropriate position and give it a lower opacity. I use the same watercolor texture file as the below area for the cutout earth. After the rasterize layer, I click Ctrl U to change the color from green to a little bit yellow. Click L, the lasso tool, to select the area above the ground, and then delete this area. To make this drawing look more interesting, I'll make this blow up section into a circle area. 
create a new layer and draw a circle above it. Then I use W2 to select the outside of the circle and make a new layer. Click Command Delete to fill the area in white. Then we got the white mask around the blow up area. I click Ctrl T to adjust the sky and earth area. And I'm going to create a new layer to draw grass area above the ramp. After selecting the area, I click Command Delete or Control Delete to fill up the area and apply a watercolor texture above it. To apply the texture, move the mouse above grass layer, hold Alt, then you can see your cursor become this arrow, and then left click. You can see the watercolor texture is applied to the grass layer. And I'm going to use L Lesser 2 to clean up the mask to make the highlight section shows up. Finally, I will draw a dashed circle to mark up where I made this blow up. And I use pen tool to link them up. In this drawing, I only made one blow up area, but you can make another one or two blow up area, like to show the detail of the architecture or the backyard of the architecture. In the end, I'm thinking the sky and earth is a little bit too bright, so I make them grayer and uh, lighter by changing the opacity of them and click Ctrl U to lower the saturation of them. Finally, that's it. So let's see how to get the trees. To begin with, I want to introduce you guys our new website. This is a platform for landscape architecture, architecture and urban design students. You can not only find our tutorials here, but also inspirations from other students' work and the resources you have to know. In the inspiration channel, you can find tons of amazing students' work. You can also see the details of the project by clicking the image on the site. Then it will direct you to the source of the image. So besides learning from others, you can also promote your projects here. By clicking the image, you can see the details of the drawing and the description of them. So do not hesitate to share your work here with students from all over the world. In the tutorial section, we put our tutorials into four categories Mapping, Diagram, Rendering in Photoshop, and Drawing in Illustrator. I'll skip this part to jump into the Resources section. In this section, I have a list of the useful websites we have to know. If you want to know where you can get free textures, free cutout people, cutout trees, where to find a job, which school you should go, and the school's ranking, you have to check out this page. For example, you can find the most important resources from the editor's picks. To find out the architecture and the landscape architecture school ranking, by clicking the DI ranking page. It would be a good resource to help you decide which school you should go. Okay, last. Let's see how to get free watercolor trees and watercolor textures in the video. The 2K page is designed to provide all kinds of resources like Photoshop brushes, AutoCAD blocks, vector works, and PNG trees. By clicking the image, it will direct you to the download page. With this link, you can get $5 off on this file, which means you can get it for free. So, do not hesitate to check out our new website and share your work with us. Thank you so much for watching.
and don't forget to subscribe.